Hey guys, I'm back from my many month long hiatus. Look, life happens. I had a lot of changes in my life and was unable to film videos, but I am back with a tutorial. So we are going to be making a polymer clay strawberry planter. So it's super cute and fun and perfect for spring and summer. I actually got inspo for this planter off of a Facebook group that I'm in. Someone posted like a strawberry pot that they thrifted and I was like, hmm, I could make that. So here we are and I'm attempting it. So why don't we just get into the video and I'm gonna show you what you're gonna need to make this project. The first order of business is clay and a work surface. So this, these are both from Ikea. This is a white tabletop and then a mat that I use. And then I just picked up a like almost four pound box of Sculpey. I just got all white because I have a bunch of acrylic paints that I'm going to use to paint my pots. Also, you can use um, specific blocks of like colored clay and make smaller ones if you want, but I just find it easier to work with the white clay and then paint after. So on that note, you're also gonna need um, acrylic paint. You'll also just need some clay tools. I have some like falling and blending tools here as well as a rolling pin. Um, I'm gonna be doing most of the sculpting by hand, but it's good to have the tools for certain details. Paint brushes, some glaze to glaze your pots. I'm using this Varathane glaze. It's uh, waterproof. It's a water-based one, but it should protect it. It's good to have some cutting tools like an X-Acto knife or this blade here and a needle tool. And that's pretty much it. You don't have to worry about getting dust on the clay as much if you're gonna be painting it like I am because you're just gonna paint over the clay, so it's fine. I'm gonna start with this first block of clay here and put the others aside in the meantime. This is a lot of clay here to soften, so I'm gonna break it into pieces to start um, softening the clay and kneading it because it's definitely too much to do all at once. Luckily, Sculpey is pretty soft, so it's not gonna be too difficult, but it will take some time. Wanna form a pot out of this, so we don't really need to do too much as far as the kneading goes. We just don't want it to be separating like that, so just make sure it's kinda all compact, I guess. Okay, once you have your clay kneaded, you can kind of combine it all into one. I'm gonna set a little clay aside for the leaves on top of the strawberry. Once you have your ball of clay, you can start molding the strawberry shape. Then this part is going to be the bottom of our vase. This is gonna be the bottom and this is gonna be the top. So we're gonna to have to make some indents now to create the area where the plant will go, which is totally gonna to switch up the shape of this. So it's gonna change a lot as you go through the process. I'm actually going to use the end of my um, uh, rolling pin here to try to create the opening where um, the plant is gonna go. So you can see that's like the general area and now I'm just gonna kind of sculpt it so that there's more room for the plant. Don't get discouraged as you go because as you can see, it looks like a mess right now, but it's all part of the process. The end result will look a lot better than it does as you are going. All right, so once you have the inside hollowed out, you can kind of just start smoothing it. And then once the inside is smoothed out, we can start <laughs> fixing the outside again and just kind of smoothing the whole thing out and you know making sure it looks nice. Again, if you want that like, look of having the fingerprints all over it, 
it, it kind of is a look in and of itself. So I personally am not gonna totally smooth out the inside, but I do want the outside to look a bit more even because we're gonna be adding the marks for the seeds and all that. And then we're gonna be baking it. So really it doesn't take that much time. See how that really took out a lot of the marks on the side here? There's still a lot to be done, but you know what I mean. Once you are content enough with your shape, um, you are going to put the strawberry as it will be, upright, kind of make sure it can stand up, press it down a bit, like so. See? And then we are going to start adding the details like the leaves on top and the seeds. The seeds we're going to add last because even just touching the clay, we can kind of ruin them. So first we're gonna add the leaves. So I'm gonna take that extra clay that I set aside and I'm gonna kinda roll it out with my rolling pin and then cut the shape of the leaves and I'm just gonna add them all along here. Okay, so as you can see, there are some air bubbles in the clay. We're gonna kinda try to avoid cutting where those air bubbles are. We don't want air bubbles in the clay that will honestly exacerbate when it bakes and look really nasty. So it can just happen sometimes, it's unfortunate, but I'm gonna try to avoid cutting in those areas. So we're just gonna kinda start cutting the shape of a strawberry leaf. So they, again, can all be different. They don't have to be the same. They don't have to be perfect. We're gonna see kind of how that looks with my strawberry and I'm gonna judge from there. Okay, I feel like that's a good uh, size, so I'm just gonna go from there. All right, once you have them cut, you can kind of start getting them out. As you can see, they're not all coming out perfectly. We're gonna be molding them anyway. We're not just gonna leave them like this, so they don't have to be perfect. Now we can kind of go one by one and just start shaping these a little nicer. So I'm just gonna kind of like soften the edges Again, it's something that's not an exact science. It does not have to be perfect. I just kind of like the look better with the edges a bit softened. As I'm going, I'm taking the leaves I'm making and I'm just adding a little line through with my the back of my knife which just creates like that leaf look and then I'm attaching them to the so the top here I'm gonna do that as I go just to make it easier so when I finish a leaf I'm picking it up with this and I'm just adding it to the leaf so I kind of am attaching it at the top here you see, pushing it down toward the inside, trying not to mess up the line I made with my knife on it. Just kind of pressing it lightly down, blending it into the top. Trying not to touch this too much, so I'm trying to keep that in the same place, but you see. And then you just kind of got this going on. And it's gonna look really cute when we're all done. Okay, so once you are done adding all of your leaves, we are going to add the little strawberry uh, seeds all over. They're kind of random, but you kind of want to just like follow somewhat of a strategy here. So I'm just going to go down in a line and then alternate in between on the second line. 
see. But space them out because you don't want to make so many of them that you're like doing so much work. Okay, so I'm at the point where I have all the seeds marked on and here is my strawberry. Honestly, I could just keep smoothing things and keep like adjusting the seeds to look a little better and stuff, but I'm kind of at the point where I'm like happy with it and it still has that DIY handmade imperfect look. So now I'm going to throw this in the oven. So this clay is meant to be baked at 275 degrees Fahrenheit and you're supposed to bake it for 15 minutes per quarter inch of thickness. Um, just measure it based on the thickest part. So I'm gonna bake it for a pretty decent amount of time. Overall, I baked it for about an hour and a half total. I'm going to take some cotton pads and some 100% acetone and I'm just gonna wipe down the strawberry just to remove any dust. This part is not necessary because you're gonna be painting over it anyway. However, I'm just doing it to take the dust off from like a textural standpoint so that when I'm painting, I have a smoother surface to work on. I don't wanna like ruin the strawberry design, so I'm not gonna like do too much because I don't wanna ruin the seeds. Now for paint, I'm starting off with this Craftsmart red color. And then for in the seeds, I'm going to use the burgundy. My friend nostalgia, I found you When I heard the sweet sound of the ones who I once knew so well In a voice memo from years ago We were laughing about some nonsense Oh how I miss those friends Circumstances made it so that I'll never see them here is the finished product of my strawberry planter. It took like a couple coats of paint and I did two coats of glaze, the Verithane glaze, and I signed the bottom and dated it. Okay guys, that is it for my strawberry planter pot polymer clay tutorial. This is a great gift for anyone for their birthday, for your mom for Mother's Day. It's, or just for yourself, you know, it's super cute. And I, I really like how it came out. I like how the glaze is holding up well with the plant in the pot their dirt got on it and there were no issues and so we love it i'm super happy with the outcome i did water the plant and now it's gonna go to my grandma for her birthday so i'm excited to give it to her i hope she's gonna love it and i hope you guys make this planter pot yourself there will be more planter pot tutorials coming soon so stay tuned for that if you like this video give it a thumbs up Feel free to subscribe. If not, it's totally cool. But I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.